Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I'm so excited because today I get to test out the new Huda Beauty palette. So I bought this palette from Muse Beauty SA and I'll link everything down below. And this palette was 1,299 Rand. And then um, they obviously just charge for delivery fees as well. So I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I don't have the first uh rose gold palette but this is the rose gold remastered palette so today um as you guys can see my face makeup is already done not sure what i'm going to do with my lips as yet but definitely focusing on the eyes focusing on this palette and we're going to get straight into it so what i love about this palette obviously because it is focused around rose gold it has a rose gold packaging so this is the outer packaging and then on the back it just kind of gives the ingredients and there's languages there that i don't understand uh, so yeah rose gold and then obviously it is like an embossed I, I always say obviously but it's not that obvious that's just like a thing that i say so it has an embossed huda beauty um, name and the name imprinted on it and then embossed roses on it as well so I'm gonna keep this and put it somewhere because I think it's really pretty um, will definitely go with my decor in my room that I'm here to still show you guys and then on to the palette so the palette is again and embossed um, the branding on it below and then we have the roses just around the rose gold um, so some of it as you turn it, it has like shimmer on it, and then Huda Beauty with a fabulous makeup look on there. So when you open up this palette, so it has the mirror, and then it has this overlay um, thing again, which is exactly like the outside. I'm not sure what it's for. Uh, probably so that you don't miss the eyeshadows. But going into the eyeshadows, there are three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen shades. Um, I have to do maths. Nine, three, six, nine. <laughs> nine mattes and then nine um, textured eyeshadows, which they have remastered this so that the textured eyeshadows can be used with a brush and that it not, not only needs to be used with your fingers. Um, what I really like about this is that there is an even balance of mattes and shimmers in this palette, as well as your normal um, kind of crease blending shades, the browns with a deep matte black so i really really like that and i think my favorite shade in this palette um i haven't tried it as yet but man eater is definitely looking like a good one so before we start off i just want to show you guys the brushes that i bought from muse beauty as well so these are the morphe brushes and i just wanted to pick up some brushes that some of the international youtubers um, are using and just give them a try so i bought these numbers and i'll link it down below as well it is the morphe 514 to show you guys like that so the lighting is not behind it so this is the morphe 514 and these are all crease blending brushes and morphe 433 morphe 518 i feel like such a youtuber doing this hey guys look at my product and then the last one, which is the Morphe 411. So you guys can pick up a whole lot of um, eyeshadows from them as well. These were really inexpensive, 130 per brush. Um, and then obviously there are different brush sizes, so then the price will probably go up. But that's what I paid for these brushes. And I'm super excited to try it out. So starting off, I'm going in with Sandalwood. It is the shade over right here. And I'm going in with the Morphe 514. And just dipping that slightly in oh so it does seem like there is quite a bit of um, product fall out so I'm kind of putting my brush in there really really softly and gently just gonna dust off some product and I'll be working this straight into my crease so this brush is quite nice and small so it really is getting into the crease without going out too far so now I'm going in with the shade henna it's right next to sandalwood on the same Morphe 514 brush and again I'm experiencing that when I 
put my brush in it um, it is kind of falling out a bit so I just dust the excess product off oh, this is lovely you really don't need to dig your brush in there it does pick up enough product um, to give you a very high pigment so so pretty now I'm going in with my favorite shade it better not disappoint me and that is man eater so just gonna slightly dust my brush in there watch for the fallout and dust off excess and now just tilt my head back because I want to get right into the crease wow oh, guys I'm loving it I'm just first placing the product down in with Morphe 518 again and blending it I'm really just focusing this on the outer corner of my eye now because I just want to try a couple of shades in here I'm going in with doll face it is this pink shade over here really is a bright pink and I'm just slightly picking up some product and putting that onto my lid oh pigmented wow 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 and as much as there is like some fallout inside the container or the palette itself when I do apply the shadows there isn't any fallout on my face which is great because to clean that up is a mission so for this look um, I think I'm gonna go in with trust fun it is like I don't know it is a very rose gold kind of color even though the one next to it is named rose gold that's more of a pink undertone and trust fun has more of a champagne color undertone so I'm just picking it up with a brush flat brush and just placing it in the inner corner mm. so I'm not really getting much pay off with the brush and my eye and nails are too long okay so you would definitely get more pay off with um, just using your finger I think the color should come out beautifully like that just picking up some of black truffle and I'm running that really close to my lash line. Wow, this black is super pigmented. And then I'm just gonna go with Man Eater underneath that just to kind of tie the black truffle and henna together. So now I just wanna add some color onto my brow bone. So I'm gonna go in with Pink Diamond, it's the shade over here. And I'm just using a small brush and just lightly dusting that onto my brow bone. So this is the final look of the makeup. I think that the eyeshadows are so pigmented and it really is worth the price. And they blend really well. Um, I would have liked if the textured shadows would apply better with the brush. Um, but they work well with your finger as well. It's just that the whole remastering um, some of the things that they changed was that it was supposed to work with a brush but I love the eyeshadows I love how it came out I love that it was easy to blend that is a dream and it had no fallout when I blended the eyeshadows in so I'm so happy and this was one of the best first purchases guys thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video I hope that it answered all your questions before you go and purchase your Huda Beauty rose gold remastered palette um i love it and i would just like to hear you guys comments in the comment section down below if you've bought it what your thoughts are on it and i will also link the muse beauty site down below so you guys can go and check it out thank you so much again for checking out this video please subscribe and follow me on social media at crease nation until the next video bye